If you're after an economical batch size of just one, then this is a must watch. Okay, so you're telling us where these machines are going, but what was the problem or the issue that people had where they go, I need this to transform my workshop? Well, if you take a single table five axis machine, typically it's only gonna run for maybe 25% of the time. Bear in mind, you have to keep opening and closing the door to, to load and unload components. What this machine allows you to do is to possibly do all your prove outs in, during the day when the guys are there, but then potentially you've got another 16 hours of the day yeah. that aren't being utilized. Well, this machine allows you to do everything you need to do with the man there during the day, and then you go into unmanned running to cover the 16 hours. So when you come in the next morning, you have a pallet full of components ready to, to unload. And we're going to see those pallets in just a few moments time. Uh, you've got to keep feeding this machine, haven't you? That's what you're telling me. You have, yes. And every Matsura, and we say to every Matsura customer, potential customer, that it's a hungry animal to feed. But if you feed it with the correct type of work and work that can run unmanned, then it will give you the best return of any investment. And You've got so many companies out there that have had success. You know, we're talking about Roger from LMS. Oh, yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Jason from MP Engineering, Darren Highspec, Enzo, RNG. You know, there's a lot of companies out there yes. that it has been successful for, and they they haven't just got one. Yes, that's right. That's right. Most Matsura customers, you know, they'll have the first machine, they'll see what the benefits of owning a Matsura are, and then 12, 18 months later, they'll come back and they'll invest in the second one. Now, why have you gone and kind of upgraded or upsized the machine ultimately, gone for the 420? You know, the MX330 as a single table machine was always able to cater for a part 420 diameter, but it was restricted by the, the pallet changer because it was a development from the MAM Sims 235V. But there was a customer base around the world that uh, requested that Matsura uh, make the pallet changer to be able to cater for the full working area of the machine. Although there are some restrictions, it just allows certain customers to run slightly larger parts. And um, what type of customers are buying this model? It can be any customer. Uh, the MX range was designed as our entry level five axis uh, package um, and they will be sold to subcontractors around the world. You mentioned quite a few in the UK, but globally the MX was the MX330 was always our, our best selling machine. And the 420, as I said, it was just there to enhance the, the range, but it can be a small subcontractor or it could be a large OEM that buys multiples. Now this excites me and this is where I'm going to take you to the pallet side of this machine. I mean, this just shows the versatility that these machines have to offer, doesn't it? It does, yes. Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. 10 pallet stocker is standard on the MX330 and the 420. Um, but the one thing that a lot of people don't realize, especially with the MX420, is with such a large working area, we can get multiple parts onto a table. And as standard, the MX330 and 420 is capable of scheduling four parts per pallet. So suddenly we now have a 40 pallet machine. You do? and different sizes. It's that versatility that excites me here. It is, yes, yes. Um, because of the way that uh, the Matsura is designed uh, dynamically, uh, it allows us to have um, a working area without many restrictions or without any restrictions. So whether it's a small component that we need to get close to the table, we don't need to put riser plates on, we can get our spindle nose to the center of our table quite easily, or larger parts, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. So if someone is after a pallet machine, why would they go for the MX over the MAM then? Well, the MAM was always designed to be a machine to run for several days. Yeah, it was designed around the, the philosophy of 72 hours of unmanned running. The MX came to, um, to answer a, a question, shall we say, about running between shifts. So if you've got a MAM, you're going to run it for several days. If you have an MX, you're looking to run it between shifts. So if you man it for eight hours a day, we get 16 hours of unmanned running throughout the night. And what we always tend to say with our customers is that a Matsura is designed for four hours uh, manning for 24 hours running. What a statement to make. So what is it that industry need to know about this range of machines? What would you say that people are doing and they go, right, you need an MX Matsura machine? Well, I think one of the things, especially with the way that Matsura is supported in the UK, if you choose to buy an MX, uh, from Matsura, then generally speaking, if we put the machine on the floor, within a week you will be running overnight. Mm -hmm.